draw your bending moment diagram. You can also draw your actual force diagram, shear force diagram. Okay, right. Now we look at a more difficult problem. You have a when do you have sway in, in portal frames? You have sway in portal frames when you do not have symmetry. Not only the frame should be symmetrical, which means both the columns must have the same I, but the loading should be symmetric. So, if this 100 kilo Newton load was exact, now it is going to sway. Okay, first a, a hunch from you, will it sway to the left or will it sway to the right? Huh? Will it, will BC sway to the left or will it sway to the right? And why? Can I have some answers? This is now uh, intuition. This is your right brain, not left brain. Will it sway to the left or to the right? I will give you a clue. You imagine that load is moving more to the left and pressing down. In your mind, will it sway to the right or to the left? It does not matter if you make a mistake. Because your slope deflection method will give you a positive or negative answer. Delta, if it is positive, it's to the right, if it is negative, to the left. But it is good to guess. Okay, someone gave the right answer, it is to the right. Very good. Okay. So, you here you there is no way out, you can't take any shortcuts, you have three unknowns. Theta B is an unknown, theta C is an unknown, delta B C is an unknown. We did a problem earlier where it was symmetric and we did with one unknown. Remember, we put a guided fixed support in the middle of BC and got away with it. Here you can't. So, some problems are difficult. We will do it the difficult way, what say? Three unknowns we can handle. What do you need to do? First, find the fixed end moments. Okay. AB and CD have no fixed end moments, but BC does have. MFBC is minus WAB squared by L squared. MFCB is plus A, w A squared B by L squared. Extend that, you got your fixed end moments. Write down your slope deflection equations. So, I want you to write down the slope deflection equation and the equilibrium equation. In so, the slope deflection equations are very simple. MAB, MBA, MBC, MCB, MCD, MDC. I am sure you would have got this correct. Okay. Please note that the sway degree of freedom will affect only the vertical elements A, B and C, D. Okay. And they are both clockwise chord rotations. The chord rotation is delta B, C by the height 4. And uh, these are easy to write down. You already know your fixed end moments. So, you can plug in those values and simplify and you get this these are your slope deflection equations. Very interesting to note that in this problem or in problems of this kind, this part of your solution does not depend on the load. This is related to the stiffnesses of the three members. It is only this part that can ever change. These are your fixed moments. You can give any loading that you want. It will affect this vector, it will not touch this. So, this is a property of the structure. And the stiffness matrix actually comes from this. This, you can play around with the loads, it does not matter. So, next, if write down your equilibrium equations. What are they? You need three equations. Corresponding to theta b, you have MBA plus MBC equal to 0. Theta c, MCB plus MCD equal to 0. Delta BC, can I have get an answer? This is a sway equation. The beam will not come into picture. There is no lateral load on the structure. So, you have to give me an answer in terms of MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC. Okay, it is simple. HA plus HD is equal to 0 because there is no lateral load on the structure. HA is nothing but MAB plus MBA by the height of the column. HD is nothing but MCD plus MDC by the height of the column. That is your third equation. Very simple. Plug in those equations, you you will get an equation like this. Usually, this will not come symmetric. You might even get a change in sign, but if you uh, 
multiply this entire equation by minus 1 or, or something, you will get it in the symmetric. It is always nice to put in the symmetric form. This stiffness matrix is also said to be positive definite. Uh, you will find the diagonal elements are quite high. Uh, my request to you is to see if you can generate this stiffness matrix manually the way we did it for the B. You take the same frame, theta B, theta C, delta B C is your D1, D2, D3. You imagine what F1, F2, F3 is. Generate the first column in your stiffness matrix K11, K21, K31 by applying D1 equal to 1. D2 equal to 0, D3 equal to 0, draw a picture and do it. It's a, it's a habit worth cultivating. You will master this method. So, again I want to repeat, in your, <coughs> your stiffness matrix is the property of the structure. It's only your load vector which will change. And you change this, whatever this gives you, uh, whatever you get here, you can invert this matrix and find, uh, you can either invert it or use some elimination method to crack this problem. If you solve it, you will get values of theta b, delta, theta c and delta b c and you can see delta b c is positive. So, your guess was correct. Positive means it will actually move to the right. You put back those equations, those solutions into your slope deflection equations, you get the end moments. Draw your free bodies. First draw all the moments from your answers. Clockwise positive and then find you will find that if there was no sway, the moment here will be exactly half the moment here. Okay, we have drawn the bending moment diagram on the tension side because the sway, what is called a sway moment will interfere. So, if this load was exactly in the middle, this will be half this, this point of control flexure will be exactly at one third height. But if there is a sway, this will get shifted. Now, let us, uh, let us, let us do this problem. Okay. This is what we call a pure sway problem, okay. pure sway problem like that. Typically, you have three unknowns, theta b, theta c, delta b c, but you can take some shortcut here. Can you tell me what shortcut to take? Can you tell me something? Are theta b and theta c related? Any answers? Theta B and Theta C, are they related? <coughs> are they equal? They look equal. And not only they look equal, you seem to have a point of contraflexure in the middle of the beam. So, the Theta B and Theta C turn out to be the same thing. So, here again we can take advantage, okay. So, these are problems where you can take some shortcuts and let me tell you the shortcut. So, fixed moments are 0, but why do not we do this without taking any shortcut and then take the shortcut and show you how powerful the shortcut is. So, if you do this, you will end up with slope deflection equation as we got in the earlier problem except that your fixed moments vector is 0, okay. Your equilibrium equations Theta B is same, MBA plus MBC is 0, or Theta C, MCB plus MCD is equal to 0. For delta C, what we did earlier, we have to modify because now your horizontal reaction that A and D must add up to HA pointing this way, HD pointing this way, plus 50 must be equal to 0, right. So, this is your third equation. Again, you plug in all those values, solve them. You see beautifully theta p and theta c turn out to be identical, okay. And it is swaying heavily to the right. It is a pretty high value for E i delta. And then you plug in those equations, get your end moments, draw your bending moment diagram. Okay, the bending moment diagram is typically like this. The point of contraflexion, the beam is exactly in the middle. The point of contraflexion, the column is slightly above mid height. It will be exactly in mid height when the beam is infinitely stiff, right. So, let us compare the, the two results, okay. This is when you had a concentrated load, this is when you had a pure sway load. 
we now look at the shortcut methods that are possible now next so this is interesting that problem which we solved with a 50 Newton load acting here so you had a symmetry to be made up of a superposition of the same symmetric frame subjected to symmetric loading this is symmetric loading right the same frame subject to symmetric loading where I divide that 50 into 25 acting this way and 25 acting this way plus an anti-symmetric loading okay this is an anti-symmetric loading the same frame if I put 25 here this 25 and this 25 will add up to that 50 and this 25 this 25 in the opposite direction will neutralize each other and you will find that typically that symmetric and you need to analyze only one half of the frame either the left or the right and so the problem simplifies heavily we now to have to analyze only this problem and we know we can take shortcuts we can treat only theta b as the unknown we don't need to look at sway so we got rid of sway here so the very powerful way of solving this problem so we need to find fixed end moments what are the fixed end moments in this structure for example when theta b alone is made zero but sway is allowed you will find that this column will have to take a deflected shape like this the rotation here is zero the rotation here is zero so you have a point of contraflexure exactly at mid height which means which means which means that this 25 kilonewton will have if I cut exactly here in the middle I have a kilonewton there I have a 25 kilonewton here so the moment here is 25 into 2 50 kilonewton meter acting anti-clockwise here it's 50 kilonewton meter I hope you understand this so this load gives you fixed end moments if you are not choosing to arrest the sway degree of freedom and it's very easy to calculate you calculate what is called story shear this is called story shear the story shear is if you cut a section at the point of contraflexure whatever shear you get there is the shear in the story in that column and in this case it's 25 25 into 2 is 50 25 into 2 is 50 both acting anti clock now with that simplification let's solve this problem we are ignoring <coughs> the rotation at e and the sway you got the fixed end moments very easy to calculate minus 25 into 4 by 2 there's no fixed end moment in the beam write down your slope deflection equations remember we did this in the earlier problem so mab is mfab minus ei by l into theta b mba is mfba plus ei by l into theta b and mbc is mf not b which is 0 in this problem plus 3 ei by l into theta b that's it expand them equilibrium equation only one unknown one equilibrium equation a simple one mba plus mb is equal to zero substitute solve for theta b you get exactly the same solution we got the hard